Hey planner babes, Ashley here. I am so excited. Today we're going to be using the indigo stickers inside of my planner to get my planner all set up and ready to go for the week. These are the stickers that are from the Happy Planner. This is a part of their spring 2020 one release. These items will be available on their website on March the 4th. So mark your calendars. It'll be at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. And you guys can get these if you love navy and you love boxes. These are the stickers for you. And as soon as I got them, I knew... I knew I was going to be using them. So that's what we're going to be using this week. And I'm actually going to be putting them inside of my social media planner, which I haven't used in a couple of weeks. I have taken a break from social media. I did do some planning, but I didn't follow through with those plans. Oh, goodness. We are going into March now. Okay. Oh, I need to do the monthly too. Okay. Okay. That's That needs to be done. <laughs> totally forgot about the monthly. Um, man, when you take a break and you're not in your planner as much, it's really easy to get lost on what day of the week it is or what month it is really. So this is my social media planner. This is also from the happy planner. This one was released last year. It's called new day. Unfortunately, this specific planner is not available anymore, but they do have dashboard planners. So the layout will be the same. It's just, there's some changes like the, um, dividers will be different. The currently pages might be different. I just want to let you guys know that. This one specifically is sold out, but there are other ones available. Plus, there's some new ones releasing inside of the uh, 2021 spring la uh, launch, so you guys can check those ones out. And I will link that the previews to those down below in the description box. Also, I need to change my red discs. I will probably do that off camera. I put the red metal discs on here for um, Valentine's Day for February, but now I need to change those back to my black metal discs. I'll probably do that later, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and start planning inside of this. I will speed this process up and I will probably end up doing a voiceover because because we need to chat. We got some chat to do. I haven't haven't talked to you guys in a while, so we'll chat in a voiceover. Hey guys, it is voiceover Ashley. I am so excited to be back in my voiceover seat. That's what I'm calling it anyways. Um, as many of you know, I took the last couple of weeks off from Instagram and off from YouTube. And for those of you that messaged me checking on me, I have to give you a huge shout out. Thank you so, so much. Seriously, that means a lot to me that you was checking on me. I had to have a break for a couple of reasons. One, I just needed a break and I'll tell you it was really, really nice. But two, I also had some things that took priority over YouTube and Instagram. And so it was a great time to take a break, focus on those things. And now I am back and ready to go. All right, enough about me. How are you doing? Yes, you, the person listening to this. Let me know down in the comments, how is 2021 going for you so far? I know for a lot of us, not a lot has changed, but I know for many, a lot has changed. How are your goals? How are you um, working towards reaching your goals? I'm genuinely curious. Do you guys need help? Do you want me to make some videos about goals, about goal setting? I've actually kind of not been in to goal setting here re uh, recently, which is kind of strange for me because I was always big into goal setting. I'm more leaning towards habit building, which this has nothing to do with habit bu building, this video, this plan with me, but I don't know, that's just where my mind went. I've been focusing on building some habits and that has uh, given me more success than just setting goals. So that's we can talk about that another day if you guys want more information, but let me know how your year is going. Also, I want to know what do you think about the spring release? Are you guys loving it? Are you excited? What are you most excited for? If you haven't seen the spring release yet, I have some videos up on my YouTube channel, some of the things that the Happy Planner sent me inside of my squad box, so you guys can check those videos out. But I do have to say I am very conflicted. I am loving my current planner system right it's been working great for me i love the planners that i'm using i love the layouts the designs like i just love it and then this spring release there's planners that i also love and that i also want to use but the planners that i'm currently using will take me until december of next year so i'm like what do, what do i do and i know the planners don't start until july which many of you guys will redate them i used to redate planners all the time so that's always an option you could redate them and start using them now if you wanted to um, i probably wouldn't do that for me like not saying like, don't do that. Like go for it if you want to redate your planners. That's not what I meant. I won't be redating mine. There's an alarm that I have. Sorry. But anyways, my planners that I'm currently using will take me until December this year. And I'm conflicted because I want to change in July. 
but then again I don't and what I was going to say is it's only March I don't need to stress about this right now but it is causing me stress are you guys um, thinking about changing up your planner system and what planners are you using like are you are you considering that was there planners that come out in the spring release that you're like I have got to have that one I want that one so bad I know that there's a couple for me some uh, the monthly layout is one of them I definitely going to start using that one there's also a lined vertical that I'm conflicted about because I love I don't remember which planner it, it's um is it the colorful leopard one? Oh goodness well I can't remember that's not good I think it was a colorful leopard one I'm forgetting there's so many names of planners you guys I struggle to keep up <laughs> but it's the line vertical it is very neutral which makes me super super happy and I used a line vertical some last year loved it absolutely loved it but it was very bright and colorful and I felt like my my stickers needed to match that so then I changed to the horizontal that I have and uh, I'm loving the horizontal one so I'm like do I change then who knows it's March like I said I may change everything by July I don't know what's going on I'm just conflicted just wanted to share that with you guys if you're not sure what you're wanting to do yet can't decide like I'm right there with you we are on the same train um, don't let it stress you out I'm gonna try not to let it stress me out we have a few months before we have to decide but I want to say this I know that the planners that they release now do not cut do not start until July but go ahead and pick up the ones that you are wanting to use or considering using because they will sell out most of them will some of them might not but for the most part a lot of the planners will sell out and I always like to tell people if something happens and you decide wait a minute, I picked up this planner and I don't want to use it. You guys, there are plenty of planner babes out there who would love to have that planner and you can sell it or you can give it away or whatever you want to do. It's totally up to you. But if you want to go ahead and pick it up because it's something that you're considering using, I recommend doing that. And then if you change your mind, you can always sell it later because like I said, there's a, there's a large community. And um, I know a lot of times I see on Facebook too, people are selling things and or trading or whatever. So maybe you could trade with someone but I just wanted to throw that out there. I know that it's kind of strange. It's March. Things are coming out that are, don't start until July. It seems a little bit weird, but that's just how the Happy Planner does it. Like their fall release doesn't start until 2021 or their fall release in 2021 won't start until 2022. Goodness, get my years right here. Um, so yeah, that was just a tidbit of random information. I just wanted to share that with you guys. But I am glad to be back. Now, I did have an entire month of videos planned out for February and because I took the break um, I didn't do any of those videos so now I'm trying to figure out how to work those into March because March I had some really fun things plus with the spring release coming out there's some videos that I want to create so some of them um, I don't know you guys I don't know I haven't sat down and figured out March yet I need to do that I might actually do that uh, tomorrow evening sit down and figure out what videos I'm going to do for in March. So if there is a video that you are dying to see and you're like, I, I would love to see Ashley make this video, please, please, please comment and let me know. And yes, I read every single comment. I respond back to every single comment. I will see your comment. I will read it and I will respond to you. So please, 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 if there's a video that you're wanting me to make, please let me know and I can put it down for my list in March. So I appreciate that. You guys help me so, so much with video ideas. I seriously probably couldn't come up with all the ideas. Um, so I'm incredibly thankful for you guys for sharing those with me. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention it, probably because I was blabbing, but I did end up pulling out a couple of other sticker books to use with the Indigo sticker books. So I pulled out the big color story one and I used it. I just pulled a couple of quotes out of there. And then I also pulled out the free spirit sticker book because I knew that inside of there, there was some navy tiny hexagon stickers and I wanted to use those for each day of the week. And like I said in the beginning, this is my social media planner. So each day of the week I do plan out what I am posting to Instagram. The box on the left side, the left page, underneath of March, that's where I plan out my YouTube videos for the week. The box on the left page that's on the right side at the top, that one is where I will have like a general to-do list of things I need to do for the week. And then um, the boxes on, you can't see them right now, but on the left side at the bottom, 
I am a health and fitness coach and I have a team call every single week and I'm going to put in some notes about my team call and things that I want to talk about for this week. So that's what that plan is. For the right side, I actually did not pre-plan for this week, which is crazy because I always pre-plan. I recommend it to everyone, but hey, sometimes it happens, right? Um, I didn't end up pre-planning, so I'm not for sure on Thursday and Friday what I'm going to use those copper foiled boxes for just yet. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I may end up having to move those around a little bit, but for now, I just went ahead and stuck them on Thursday and Friday, so it kind of made... It was like cohesive on that page, if that makes sense. So I did end up using a couple of other sticker books with the indigo ones. But guys, let me know. Are you into the copper foiling? I'm personally loving it. I think it is amazing. I've been loving that and the rose gold foiling so much recently. It's not even real. It's not even, I can't even believe it. But listen, I have to get myself and my son ready. We have Cub Scouts this evening. So I'm going to end the rest of this video with some music. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Seriously, have an incredible day, an incredible evening, an incredible night, incredible morning whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Chasing all that